JT Bank Food and Drinks Festival is an annual exhibition and sales event that aims to project the diverse angles of the food industry by connecting various businesses involved in the production and sales of food-related items to a cosmopolitan audience of food enthusiasts. In addition to the exhibition and sales, the JT Bank Food and Drinks event also offered culinary experiences such as food and wine tasting, cooking masterclasses with renowned international and Nigerian chefs chefs, outdoor grills, and thrilling entertainment. The exhibition also hosted more than 70 food vendors, Trust Plus events to represent you adequately. So if you are one of those that missed the four-day event, don't worry, we've got you. Here's a glimpse of all that went down. Hello guys, my name is Ifeo Lua And this is Ifeo Lua Omai. And yes, it's Ife Squared. We're okay. currently at the GT Food and Drinks Festival. Festival. And yes, we'll be bringing you a lot of delicacies from different food vendors. Yeah, so if you're a foodie and you're not here, I really don't know what you're doing because it's the last day, unfortunately. It's been going on for the week, but I be best believe that this is where you're supposed to be. It has all the varieties you can think about, from healthy to sugar, anything that you want. If you're organic, vegan, vegetarian, meat lover, this is where you're supposed to be. Oh, please, you can tell from my accent that she's all about the vegan and all of that. <laughs> I'm not doing all of that with you guys. I'm going to be bringing you the Amaladi for food here, but you know all the local dishes you always love. So stick with us on Plus Events on Plus TV, TV Africa. Africa. So your television personality and you're regarded as the king of cakes. How did you get into this business? Uh, well, I was, uh, I was, I'm in a band and I was trying to, uh, I was working as a chef and I wanted to be in a band. And so uh, I quit my job and then to, to make money, I would make cakes in my apartment and sell them. And that's how I made enough to pay the rent mm. so I could be in a band. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. amazing. I didn't know anything about business when I started. So I made a lot of mistakes, okay. you know, and so you just have to make sure you make you make a lot more good decisions than bad decisions, and then you'll be okay. This is my first time in Nigeria. And how has the experience been for you? Uh, it's been fantastic. So I'm a huge Fela Kuti fan. I love Fela. And uh, we got to go to the shrine yesterday. Of your performance, would you say that that was a good show overall? It was an amazing show. No, it was, uh, it's fun. Again, you never know how a new crowd in a new environment is going to react to the same old goofy jokes and food, but it goes to show you food is universal. You know, whether it's the stuff you grew up eating in your country or what you grew up in, you know, if you make pretty, crunchy, fun, handheld food, people are going to respond to it. So it's just been great. It's my favorite demo of all time. Okay, so if you had one message for GT Bank, because I mean, they pulled all this together, what would that be? Do you think it's a valuable thing that we should keep on doing? I think this is a very important thing, uh, and I salute and thank from the bottom of my heart GT Bank for giving me the opportunity to, to be here, because uh, it's fun for, for us from a chef's standpoint. I see it out there. It's I think, even more fun for them out there, but I think you have to do this and make it bigger and bigger every year. I mean, this is a unbelievable, diverse country that has so many different styles of food and every that the rest of the world needs to know about it and this is a great vehicle to share that knowledge. What was the masterclass about and what did you learn? Um, basically it was about making um, a talking drum okay. um, in the form of a cake okay. you understand and um, I guess I learned a lot of things from there how to make a, um, a cake um, in the form of a talking drum and well that's basically it. So um this is Anike Kuli Kuli Pino Bass, very crunchy, yummy and spicy. I must say um this is the best Kuli Kuli in, in, in the world. So people say it comes it's, um, clearly from Abad, well there is no doubt. I cannot wait to try it. Wow. Hello, ma, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? Yvonne. 
Nice to meet you. Okay, so I wanted to ask. So far, it seems like you've been, you know, enjoying the place. What has been your favorite thing about this event so far? Um, well, the fact that everything has been put together really well, and the fact that we you know a lot of people are coming together to coming together to make friends, to try and taste each and every um, um, each and every client here that, that comes to showcase their product. So I think it's been fun. It's been fun just looking around and trying to taste everything. Okay, talking about tasting, what have you tasted so far? Um, well, I've had a fruit punch inside because everywhere is hot and then I'm trying to get a bacha now. Yeah, and I'm looking for the bole and fish. Exactly, are you selling? So we have a further rice, raw, unadulterated, not polished, no sands, no stones, no dirt. And what else? Kokoro, I can see Kokoro, I can see. Yeah, that's actually the snack. It shows that you already know it. So it's a snack made from corn. The other is Robo, made from melon. It is, it's very competitive, but still it's very good because you put your brand out there, people get to see you, so it's brilliant. All right.